Hey guys, here just to make a quick video on how to create a tool for qualitative research. There's also another video that I posted for quantitative. This one will be more specific towards qualitative. Now, just as a review, uh, qualitative research is based on observation and description. So the data we want to collect has to do with words, descriptions, quotes, opinions that people have. So to do this, there's a, a bunch of different options that you can do. Some people will choose to do observations. So they'll actually go and, and observe the location that they're interested in. They'll take notes on it. And that's certainly something that you, you can do. The other nice thing about qualitative research is that you can do interviews. And quantitative surveys do interviews as well. But in this case, we're asking different types of questions. Qualitative questions are going to be more open-ended. So they're not going to be just yes or no questions. You're not going to give them choices. You're basically going to ask them a question and the person will answer how that person sees fit. And then the data that they give you, the quotes that they give you, you can then use for your project. So you can either do something on like a, a sheet of paper. If you want to write questions out, you can do that. Or if you want to uh, record them on your phone, you can certainly do that. Just make sure you ask permission before you record. Or what other people have done in the past is use Google Forms. So if you're not familiar, I'll show you how to create a qualitative Google Form. So you'll go to Drive, and under More, you'll see Google Forms, and then you'll create a blank form. So at the top, you're going to want to title your form. So I could say something like, my topic is hunger. I could say hunger and its impact on teenagers something like that. I also want to describe why this survey is being given. So I can say that it's for a school project. I can say that data will be used to answer a sociological question, blah, blah, blah. So you basically just want to give the, pre the people taking your survey an idea of what it's going to be used for. So if I want to create a qualitative Google form, I want to click untitled question and I want to give them an open-ended type question. So I would say something like, uh, do you think society does enough to address hunger? Now, if I leave it just like this, it's a yes or no question and it can be multiple choice, but the key part here is I wanna say, and why? Or I could say, why? And I hope I can type why or why not. Okay. Now it's going to create a type of question called paragraph. So you can do paragraph or short answer. In fact, these two are the ones that you would use most frequently if you're doing a qualitative Google form. So I would skip it on paragraph. All right. Now, if you want the people to answer every single question you answer on the survey, you ask on the survey, you want to click this button after each question that says required. So they're not able to submit the survey until they actually answer that question. So now I've got one question. I can then add, add another, okay? So uh, I would ask another open-ended question here, make it required, and then go from there. A, a good qualitative survey, depending on the type of questions that you ask, should have about five to eight questions because again, the answers that they're giving you are more in detail. So when I'm ready to share this survey, at the top here, I'm gonna click send. And then there's a link here, this link button. I'll click that. And then this is the link that I want to send people. I do not want to send them this one because if I send them this one, they're giving you're giving them access to edit your form. And that's not what you want to do. You just want them to answer the questions. So I would click here, click copy. And then I'll show you what this looks like. So I paste the form. This is what people who take your survey will see. And it's going to give them a spot to type in the answer to their questions, right? So Type, 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 and then they'll click submit. Okay. Now, once they submit your form, if you go back to your form, you will then see that there's a response recorded, and it's going to give you their answers to your questions. So you can click through each individual person's responses. Now, one thing I should have mentioned before, I would recommend you add a few questions on here that have to do with age, that have to do with race, that have to do with gender. So, so kind of just like basic um, information to figure out who is taking your survey. 
So for age and gender and race, you can provide multiple choice options. In fact, I would recommend you do that. What that's going to allow you to do is say, oh, you know, a 15-year-old white male had this to say about hunger. A 17-year-old black female had this to say about hunger. And so you're kind of creating a person without actually using their name. Because again, to be an ethical researcher, you do not want to use real names of people that you study. You can change their names. You can use uh, descriptions of those people, but you cannot actually use their names. So I would actually recommend that you put those options into your survey as well. Okay, so that is just a little bit of an overview of what we can do with Google Forms to collect qualitative data. And again, if you want to do your own separate, like on a sheet of paper, take notes, if you want to record on your phone or something like that, you certainly can do that. But Google Forms can be an option for you if that's something that you want to do. If you have any questions on how to create your own surveys, please let me know. Otherwise, uh, good luck.